In this video, I'll explain a five-step plan to potentially earn as much as $60 a day from Amazon using platforms like Facebook Marketplace. And here's the best part. It's free and it's available across the globe. Stay tuned, Rockstars, because I'm going to reveal this plan and we will determine if it can work for you or even for me. It's great to have you back on the Rockstar Academy. Thank you so much for your loyalty. And if you are a YouTube member, a Patreon subscriber, or a club member, thank you for your support. Now, the first step in this five-step process is to get an affiliate account. Now, to get an affiliate account, simply visit Amazon's website, scroll to the bottom of the page where you'll find the option to join the affiliate program. I will also put the link in the description below this video that you can use to become an Amazon associate as well. And as an associate, you will leverage the Amazon affiliate program that allows you to share links and earn money when persons click on those links and buy the related products. You can also sign up to the eBay affiliate program or even the Alibaba affiliate program, but we're going to focus on Amazon for this video. But there's really no limit to what affiliate programs you'll be able to leverage to earn this money with this five-step plan. Now, step two of this five-step process is after creating your affiliate account, start searching for products that you can easily promote and sell and again we're not gonna approach this in a typical fashion I would say you can start with about 12 products and when you are identifying these products you need to save the photos for the products you need to save the details the titles the affiliate links and you can do so in a Google Docs or a Microsoft Word document or even in your notes if that's the application you are most comfortable with. Now, I do recommend that you identify practical products that solve a need or products in the beauty and self-improvement niche because those two niches are doing pretty well right now. As an example, there are a few products that I've been promoting recently and I'm doing so with different strategies and on different platforms, but they seem to be doing pretty well from a conversion perspective. And as usual, I'm going to share them with with you because I want you to be able to do so with success and do so with products that are getting clicks. Now the first product is this universal fit car gap filler and it's premium leather and it's made to fill that space between your car seat and the middle console in the car. You know that place in the car where sometimes your phone will fall in? Or is that just me? But there is a space in the car. I don't even know why it's there. I've often wondered why manufacturers of motor vehicles haven't fixed it over the years. But there's this spot and if you're like me, you're gonna lose things in there and you're gonna have to be pushing your hands down in between the console, squeezing up your fingers. If you wear false nails, you may lose a nail or two doing this. And for me, that gap is a problem that needs to be solved. So this premium leather car gap filler, which by the way, I've purchased, as you can see here on Amazon, and it's working wonders in my car because now I drop my phone in it. I keep some spare change in it and any other little thing that I need to get access to while I'm driving. And I'm going to share these links in the description below, Rockstars, so you'll be able to get to these products if you so desire. Now, this product solves a need that many of us don't even realize that we have. Another product that you can experiment with of your 15 products that you need to find is this travel makeup brush holder. And it has this magnetic tip that closes it after you put the brush in it. You hear that? Yep. And what it does, for me at least, is I don't like when my brush is exposed to the elements. So I keep it protected 
and I can easily store it in my little caddy here that I carry around when I'm creating videos to have access to things that I may need. Again, solving a need that most of us didn't even realize we had. Another product, and this one is by far my favorite, and I spoke about it in another video here on my YouTube channel, is this laundry drying rack. And this allows us to not have to spend a lot of money on electricity trying to dry our laundry. As you can see here with our clothing in our backyard, looks pretty good even for drying clothing. And again, all these links I'll share in the description below. D don't get overwhelmed with finding products, however. If you want to start with three or five, it's okay. The key is that you start and, and then evaluate what you can make if anything at all from this particular process to making money online. Now, like I said, for the products that you are identifying, you need to capture the photos, the details, and also the affiliate links and everything else that I mentioned earlier in this video. Now, step three is to begin listing your items on various platforms like Facebook Marketplace. You can also do so as you grow your business on Craigslist. You can also list your products on OfferUp. And another platform is Poshmark and they're focused on fashion. Now, now each platform offers unique features and they cater to different selling and buying needs. Like, like I said, today in this video, we're gonna stick to the Facebook Marketplace. Now to list your products on the Facebook Marketplace, you remember that information that I'd asked you to store for the different products in the Google Docs or the Microsoft Word document, you're gonna take that now and you're gonna upload the photos and the details onto the Facebook Marketplace. And one of the reasons I highly recommend Facebook Marketplace is because they have over 800 million people from across the globe that's using it on a monthly basis to buy items. Here's what's important. These people are searching for these items to buy. It's not a random visit to an e-commerce platform as an example, and then an item pops up that you think you may need, which will result in a lower conversion. No, this is someone searching for something specifically, which means that the possibility or the probability that they're gonna buy it is significantly higher, and as such, result in potentially a higher conversion rate. So we're at step four. Once you have listed your products, you need to make sure that you register them everywhere. And all you have to do is to wait on people to reach out to you. Now, this is where I felt a little bit uncomfortable with recommending this because most sellers that sell products on the Facebook marketplace, they actually have the product in hand. So when the potential buyer reaches out on the marketplace and says, I want to see the product because I have an interest in it, you are able to show them the product, whether you do so in a meetup or you send a video or a photo of that product. Well, in this case, because we're using affiliate links from platforms like Amazon, you will not have the actual product in hand. So the minute you get that message, don't pretend like you have the product, immediately declare your position. And here is how you can do so. Just respond to when the potential buyer reaches out with a simple message. I don't have the product on hand, but here is the link to purchase purchase it if you are interested. Now this is the uncomfortable part because if I'm the potential buyer it's gonna sound a little bit scammish you would think but actually for me I prefer to buy something from a link on an established platform like Amazon than to meet up with somebody that I don't know to exchange cash for a product. I could potentially get robbed. So while the potential buyer may hesitate or you may even lose some of those buyers when they find out that you don't have the product, some buyers out there like myself, because they really need the product, will actually click on the link and provide procure that product. As an example, I really wanted that drying rack 
So if the seller had sent me a link, I would have still purchased it. But that's something that I want you to consider in this process. When you send that link back to the potential buyer who search for the particular product, if they click on that link and purchase that product, you are going to make the affiliate commission that's associated with that product. And importantly, Amazon has what's referred to as the cookie. And this allows anyone who shared a link with you, as long as you clicked on that link and got to Amazon, everything you buy on Amazon for the next 24 hours, that person whose link you clicked on initially will actually get the related commission. If you were to get six customers in a day and your affiliate income is anywhere from four to $15, you would potentially earn anywhere from 24 to $75 in a day. But rock stars, how often will that happen? What's the probability that this process is gonna work? I realize that it's actually more often than you think because remember, this person is searching for this product. So the probability that they're gonna buy is greater than someone just browsing an e-commerce platform. But that being the case, I want you to be realistic with your expectations. And if it's not $60 per day or $75, as per the example I just shared, and it's just $30, it's still $900 US in a month. Could that help you to pay a bill or two? I'm gonna say it's worth it, but guess what? You're gonna have to make that decision on your own. There may be a problem that you come up on by sharing links in the marketplaces in the manner that I mentioned earlier because the marketplace may flag you sharing these links without having actual products as spam. And if that's the case, you can potentially get banned from using these marketplaces and we don't want that rock stars. So I'm being very transparent with that risk. Knowing that if you want to continue, here is how you can set up a landing page. And this is the fifth step in the process. It's actually quite easy for you to set up a landing page and you can do so even as a beginner. Just visit System.io and I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video. And by the way, it's not an affiliate link. I'm not benefiting in any way. And you can start by creating an account. Once you have logged in, you can access the dashboard, which is the central hub for all activities on this particular website. You then click on funnels on the dashboard menu and this section allows you to create and manage your sales funnels and your landing pages and choose create to start a new funnel. System.io will actually prompt you to choose the objective of your funnel and you can select the option that aligns best with your goals. As an example, you can choose collecting emails or in this particular case to sell a product. Provide a name for your funnel that is easily identifiable. And this is especially useful if you are managing multiple funnels, which you will get to after you have mastered this process, if it's actually working out for you. For a landing page, a squeeze page template is usually more suitable because it's designed to capture leads. And these leads can be email addresses. Just browse through the template options and select what fits your needs. And once you have selected the template, you can then customize it with System.io by using the drag and drop editor for easy customization. You then edit your text, your colors, your fonts, and your images to match your brand message. On this landing page that you have just created, you can promote any product by writing reviews. And all you have to do is to copy the landing page link and provide it to your customers. That way, when you post the product in the Facebook marketplace and the customer reaches out to you and you provide a link, it's not going to take them directly 
to Amazon, it's gonna take them to your landing page. And when they click on the particular product there, they'll be able to buy it from Amazon in a relatively seamless process. That being the case, Rockstars, I really can't say how effective this landing page strategy is because I haven't tested it, but I've tested the strategy that I shared earlier. And while I believe you probably will sell more products, I don't know that for sure. So you can tell me what your results look like if you opt to go the landing page route. Right. Now, Rockstars, I decided to share this option with you because while I haven't sold products this way, I have bought products this way. And if I can buy products this way, you can sell products this way. Will you sell enough to make $60 in a day? I don't know because that's contingent on a number of factors. So this solution can be a win-win for everybody involved. The customer gets the desired product, the seller gains a customer, which in this example would be Amazon, and you receive a commission for using this method to promote an affiliate link. That said, responding to messages on Facebook Marketplace can be very time consuming and can even be arduous. So you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? And if you believe it is, it's free to try, experiment, explore, and tell me how much money you're able to make, assuming you do this right and follow the five steps. Don't just slap dash a product on Facebook Marketplace and do nothing else and come back and say, Better, it didn't work. If you're gonna try it, do it right because with anything that you're gonna do in this life with the right approach and determination you can achieve success until next time walk good